Okay, so this is 6-4, page 241. And as I pointed out, we've been dividing by two-digit whole numbers for a couple weeks now. But anyways, let's look at this here. It says, Stan has a rectangular piece of carpet. Here's the, here's the carpet that Stan has. And it's got little, uh, little tassels on each end. I think most of you, some of you know what tassels are. Okay, little tassels. And uh, embroidered in the carpet is, um, let's see here, uh, uh, Mr. Gonzalez. Okay, here's Mr. Gonzalez. Okay, and he's holding up a shield. Okay, no, he's holding up a shield um, because uh, rocks and debris are bouncing off here. Let me get his hair. Okay, there we go. So um, there's Mr. Gonzalez. He's not too happy looking because what's going on is there is a, a volcano that erupted. Because we were talking about volcanoes earlier. So hopefully Mr. Gonzalez will survive this eruption. Anyways, this is a really cool carpet. Because you've seen probably carpets with some awesome designs. Well, this one... The whole area is 23.4 meters squared. I'm going to circle that right there. And it says uh, the piece of carpet, um, it's 13 meters long. So if, if this side is 13 meters, what is this side here? So we would need to know this side. And so how would we do that? Well, we would figure that out simply by taking 23 Point four, and divide it by 13 and I can do that really quick but if I was asked the question well about what would it be and look down at the bottom of the page it says how could you estimate the width of the piece of carpet well I can say to myself well 13 goes into 23 about two times so I could write down here two times Okay, about two times. Um, or uh, maybe I should say uh, two meters. That would be more accurate, not two times. My bad. And I could go ahead and do the, the division here. 13 goes into 23 once. Okay. And um, there's 10 left over. The decimal goes straight up, bring down the 4, well, 13 into 104, I don't know, how many, what, 8 times maybe, I'm guessing here, 13 times 8, that's a 4, um, and carry the 2, and 8, and look at that, 104, okay, 0, so 8, so uh the answer is specifically 1.8 1 meters, okay? So that's how you would figure that out, all right? So turn the page, look at a page uh, 242, not worried about that so much. You can just put a line through the bottom. This is where it gets really good. I'm not worried about one, I'm not worried about two, I'm not worried about three and four. Okay, put a line through those. And then down at the bottom of the page here, um, I'm not worried about five and six. Life is good for my fifth grade class. Okay, shh, 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 shh. I do want you to do seven, eight, nine, and 10 up at the bottom of the page. Now, turn the page. Page 11, I'm sorry, uh, number 11, page 244. Let's look at that for a moment. So it says Sharon pays uh, 98.75 um, for uh, for 25 14 ounce boxes of Yummy Flakes cereal. How much does one box of cereal cost? That's one question. 
But I have another question that I want you to write down. And this is for those of you that need a little challenge in your life. So write this down. How much does one ounce of cereal cost? That's the second question. So I want you guys to think about that. And you can just kind of put your answer right there. So I will help you out with 11 here a little bit. Sharon pays this much, almost $100 for 25 14-ounce boxes of yummy. The question is, in the other class, they were asking, well, gosh, do we use the 25 or the 14 ounces? Well, uh, let me help you out here. You're going, if you need to figure out how much each box of cereal costs, that's the first question. That's question number one here. You would uh, simply divide 98 0.75, you would divide that by 25, and that would answer the question number one. But then it, my question was, how much is each was does each ounce cost? Okay, what's kind of nice is when you go in the grocery store now, if you look carefully at labels, and you guys aren't buying your own food yet, so you're not looking at labels so much. They even tell you usually how much an ounce is or a pound is or, or uh, you know, the, the, the cost of different types of cereals and things like that. But to figure out this, to figure this out, you have to know how many ounces there are. Well, if there was just one box of cereal, how many ounces would there be? I heard somebody say it, be 14. If there was two boxes of cereal, how many ounces would it be? 28. Three boxes, another 14. Four boxes. Well, there's 25 boxes, so you would have to do 25 times 14. Okay? That number is going to give you how many ounces there are. I'm just going to, I'm going to call that, um, Z, the answer is Z. And then, then you would take 98.75 divided by Z. That would give you the answer to number two. Okay? All right. Figure that out later. Let's, uh, let's look at number 12 here. Javier bought a new TV for $479.76. He will make equal payments each month for two years. Um, how many months are in a year, Mr. Ward? 12. 12, okay. And it's for two years, so how many months are we talking about, Mr. Ward? 24. 24. 24 months total. It says, how can Javier use compatible numbers to estimate each payment? Well, what's 24 pretty close to? 25. Yeah, 25. I would just call it 25 months. Okay. And then what's 479 close to? Uh, 480. Yeah, 480, but, but you know 25 won't go into 480 evenly. You could call it 500, I think. Um, so what are we looking at? We're looking at 500 being divided by 25. And that's going to give you your answer. Okay. okay? So when they say use compatible numbers, make it as easy as possible. Okay? 480 um, wouldn't easily be divided by 25. But 500 obviously would. Okay? All right, let's look at the next one here. Higher order thinking the area of the rectangular flower bed shown is 20.4 meters. Um, it's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to do this. So the area, hopefully that uh, is 20, what was it? 20.4, 20.4. 
uh, meters squared. That's the area. So, uh, oh, Mr. Ward put up uh, 10 points. Uh, Ms. Pearson, Ms. Pearson, if here to here is 10 meters, what is it here to here? And Ms. Pearson, if here to here is two meters, what is it here to here? Okay, so what you guys need to find is the length of this side. And so, you know area, all of you should know by now, area equals, Ms. Pearson, what is it? What's the formula for area? Length times width. Length times width, nicely done. So we have 20.4 equals, um, it's 12 times something. And I'll let you figure that out. How you would figure that out, well, that's something you need to mull over. All right, number 14 and 15. And how are we doing on time here? Just We're going to finish just in time. Uh, 14, Miss Wang is shopping for a new refrigerator. Brand A costs this much and uses 635 kilowatt hours per year. Brand B costs this much and uses eight, or I'm sorry, 582 kilowatt hours per year. Wow, then it says, if electricity costs um, 18 cents per kilowatt hour, how much would Mrs. Wang save on electricity per year by buying brand B? So what you have to do in this question is figure out how much each refrigerator is going to cost per year. And you do that by multiplying 0.18 times, well, the first one is brand A, that's 635. And then 0.18 times brand B, which is 582, okay? Then you compare the two, and one is gonna cost more than the other, and that will tell you how much she would save per year by buying brand B, all right? And 15, Pat, whoever that is, is driving from Seattle to LA, the distance is 1,135 miles. Then it says for the first 250 miles, it costs her 29 cents a mile. 250 times 0.29, okay? That's gonna let us know how much the first 250 miles cost Pat. And then it says after that, her driving is 0.16 cents a mile. Well, if she drove 1,135 miles, and then we need to know uh, after 250 miles how much further she drove, you would subtract 250. That answer goes there. Then it says, what's Pat's total driving cost? Well, I don't know. You're going to have to add up your two answers here. You're going to add those together and you'll get your answer. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is 250 times 0.29. You'll get an answer. Then you're going to subtract 250, 250 miles from the total distance, and then you'll get the rest of the distance that she drove. And the rest of those miles cost her 16 cents a mile. She found the gas a little bit cheaper somewhere else. And then that, that'll, then you'll have a number there. Then you add those up, and you'll get the cost of her trip. Okay. And 16 and 17, multiple choice. You guys can do those on your own. And uh, we are done.
Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me pull a stick here. Let me pull a stick. Uh, Miss Thornburg, is there anything you would like to say? No? All right, Miss Thornburg, do you love your mom? Do you love your dad? So you come up and say, I love you, mom. I love you, dad. No, you don't want to do that? I do. I do. I do. All right, Miss Pettit, get over here. Okay, come around over here. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Say whatever you like. I like turtles. I like turtles. I don't like them. You love turtles. I 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 love turtles. 